After 13 years and 22 goodbye kiss orbits, Cassini is dead. Cassini, of course, has been on a trajectory since April uh, for its final mission, its grand finale, if you will, in order to uh, end its mission of sending back photos and different sensory recordings from Saturn to Earth. It actually ended its final mission early this morning and is now vapor on Saturn, which is kind of poetic, I guess. Uh, it was emotional for many of the NASA and JPL uh, Cassini mission workers, engineers, scientists, researchers on this mission saying goodbye to her. Yes, it was gendered as female and it delivered a lot of good information to us, but it's not done yet. Its final transmission was sent 83 minutes after its destruction on Saturn and it has now been received, but it will be years of analyzing all of this and understanding more from it. So what it got on its final readings were uh, the atmosphere of Saturn, which is our best look at it so far. And we probably won't be looking at it for a while now because uh, most of the outer solar system missions aren't either aren't planned or aren't due for at least 10 years. We do have the idea that the Europa Clipper could launch in 2022. And depending on what rocket it uses, it could arrive in two years, it could arrive in six years. But regardless, it will be a long time until we get there. During Cassini's final moments, the spacecraft's instrument sampled uh, molecules in the atmosphere. It will be used to help understand the planet's formation, its composition, its collected data that researchers hope will help them solve the mystery of the speed of Saturn's location. I mean, rotation, sorry. It also looks like what we haven't learned so far are uh, the exact specifications of Saturn's magnetic field. It will fall to a future mission to discover whether it is habitable for life, be that transplanted human life or some other form of nascent alien life over there. It doesn't really have a replacement, as I mentioned. In 2021, the European Space Agency is launching the Lucy spacecraft. But a lot of the times these missions are very, they take a very long time to plan and we're always in the earlier stages of it. So usually where we are in terms of uh, where spacecrafts are for studying the outer solar system is dependent on where we were 10, 20 years before then. So for example, in the 90s, uh, NASA under Daniel Golden moved toward a faster and cheaper and better, which is subjective, approach that largely focused on Mars, de-emphasizing the outer solar system. So that did lead to some great missions like Mars Curiosity. But it looks like it won't be a while until then unless we look toward the NASA New Frontiers program, which looks at medium sized cost missions that so far has spawned uh, Jupiter's Juno, which is set to crash into Jupiter about a year from now and uh, Pluto's New Horizons. So there will be a time where the uh, missions have to be launched and that is by 2024. So far there are a few Saturn related missions on the table, two Enceladus proposals, a Titan proposal and a Saturn atmospheric probe all under consideration. So we shall see that's the greatest hope for more study of uh, the outer solar system, uh, Saturn in particular. Until then, we'll just have to see. Audience, did you check out the final orbit, the grand finale, the, the last kiss? It's called so many dramatic things for Cassini. Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.